Hola, I'm Fivers, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the latest Gacha and mobile gaming news from the last week. Last week was finally a calmer week, after all the new releases we have been having lately, but we still have some really interesting news to talk about. So take a seat and welcome to the weekly Gacha and mobile gaming news episode 5. Let's start with the new thing I was most excited about. Punishing Great Raven finally released its PC client today. So now you can go to its official page and download this version for PC available only for Windows. I couldn't try it myself yet, but I'm glad to see in their presentation video that they have put effort on creating a full customizable controls. One of the main problems of PC clients that came from a mobile game is exactly this, the controls. Sometimes if they just create the PC client without even thinking about how to modify or present the controls on PC, it can be horrible. So I'm glad to see that we are able to play with controller or keyboard and we have the option to change the controls however we want. I actually think that it could be a perfect moment to go back to PGR or to try it for the first time with this PC client. As I have said last week, the game has a new event and a brand new character, so it can be the perfect moment to play PGR in this new client. We couldn't have a new video of weekly news without talking about Honkai Star Rail. This game is doing literally everything. They have released a short video animation on their official channel, but this video is not just a promotional video of a different studio. This video is literally an anime short made by Mihoyo Anime. This is an animation studio of the same company. We have already had manga of Genshin Impact in the past. There is also a trailer of an anime about Genshin Impact. Now, I'm starting to wonder if they are planning to do the same things with Honkai Star Rail. I guess that we will see soon what they are planning to do. Besides the new sword, they have also presented a trailer with a new character coming soon to the game. This new character is called Jin Juan. He is a new lightning element character and he will work as an AoE damage dealer. So basically, he will be a new DPS character with AoE damage on his skill and ultimate and single target damage on his basic attack. I don't know about you, but I'm still trying to get silly so I don't think that I will be able to summon him. Continuing with Hoyoverse, Genshin Impact has presented a new trailer of the upcoming new version 3.7. It seems like this new version will be focused on the card game mode of Genshin. This time we will have a new mode where we will be able to duel other people in a PvP tournament to try to get some new rewards of this event. Kirara, the latest character presented by Genshin Impact, will be available in the first phase of this new version where we will have Joy Mija and Jai Miko as the rate up characters on the event Wiz. Meanwhile, in the second phase, we will have Kaedeara Kazuha and Allied Ham as the rate up characters. As always, the new version will bring some other mini events and game modes where we will be able to get some rewards. Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent, the famous game developed by Square Enix, will have a new update that will expand the story with a brand new chapter. This will be the chapter number 3 inside the game. Together with this new update, they will release a brand new character called Chloe. She will be a new hunter, with the ability to deal AoE damage to all enemies and she is also able to support your team with some healing and the ability to provoke enemies to attack just one of your characters. If you haven't tried this game yet, it will be a good moment to do so. One thing I like about this game is that it's mainly focused on the story and the development of characters. The game is completely PvE, so you can perfectly play it at your own pace without any problem. They also recommend you to enjoy the game like that when you just open the game, and it's actually something that I like to see. Alchemy Stars has started their new event called Luminations Descent. Along with this new event, we also have three new characters, Anatoly, Jinjel, and Leo. Anatoly is a new 5-star support of the main element Forest and secondary element Thunder. His chain attack will work like a sniper chain attack more or less, and his active ability will deal damage to two selected enemies and pull them to the center, so he will be useful to group up small enemies and put them together, so your detonators will be able to deal damage to multiple enemies at once. Jinjel is a new 6-star converter of main element Thunder and secondary element also Thunder. She will normally attack the nearest enemy with her chain attack and her active skill will convert one selected tile to a yellow cross-shaped prism tile. 
and Leo is a new 6-star detonator of main element forest and secondary element also forest. His chain attack works like the standard detonator and his active skill will deal damage in a diamond safe area to multiple enemies. To finish, AC also has a new skin in this new update. This light has released a new version preview, where they have presented three new characters. Mateo, a new 5-star wind fighter that is the dislight version of the god Prometheus. Swampin, a new 5-star simmer support that is the dislight version of an Asian god that I can't read. And Yamato, a new 5-star wind support that represents the god Izanagi. This new version also comes with a new event called Immortal Fire and some other mini events. To finish, I just want to mention that Memento Mori has presented a new character called CB, and as always, they have uploaded a beautiful song to their official channel that I recommend you to listen. And that's it for today's video, I hope that I have helped you. Thank you so much for watching, leave a comment, drop a like and consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos of news in the future, and see you in the next video. Ciao!